Street friends. Oh, how they can be a tease. I see this all the time, literally all the time. People posting on forums, on websites. I've gotten emails about this. It's such a, a common problem, I think. I think that it's really easy when you're younger, when you're still trying to figure yourself out, when you um, aren't out yet to fall into this kind of hole where you let yourself develop feelings for a friend that will never develop them back. You know, you already spend a lot of time with your friends. You could have a lot of the same interests, a lot of the same opinions on things, watch the same TV shows, hang out all the time. The longer you let it go on, the worse it gets. You start looking for things. You start trying to convince yourself, well, you know, maybe they might be bisexual or something like that. And then you start picking up on these signals that may or may not actually be there. And you start building a case in your head as to why you should continue to lust after your friend and why things might possibly work one day. And maybe if this right exact circumstances were to happen, you could actually, your friend would come out to you and you would fall madly in love. And the simple fact of the matter is that that basically never happens. And holding on to such a small hope is really just self-torture. The, the real solution you really need to, to do is just accept that they're straight, they're not interested in you like that, they are a great friend, and you should keep it that way. And you just have to move on, you have to let yourself move on. Think about how important your friendship is. It's really hard to find good friends. And what's more important, the friendship or these feelings that you think you have? I mean, trust me, I had such horrible crushes on some of my friends. Ugh, it drove me crazy. I would, you know, you even, if you let it go on for so long, you get to the point where you even think that you're in love with them that they are the perfect person for you. The real solution and the real thing that'll make this go away really is being able to find actually gay people to crush on. You know, if you live in a small town, that could be really tough. It, you know, maybe there's only a few out people and they're not your type. And you know, that's where the internet can really be helpful, you know, just to talk to people. Once you find someone you're attracted to, who you can actually connect with, I think all the pieces will fit together and you'll suddenly get this moment of clarity and you'll realize how silly you were lusting after your straight friend. So I hope this helped. And if you have anything you wanna add or any comments, definitely post below. Thanks for watching. You know, people generally don't like things that they don't understand. Um, they don't like change, they don't like things that are different from them.